what is shamanism so for people who don't know just tell us about shamanism and why shamanism bnc combination for trauma okay so basically shamanism uh, is a very ancient healing technique it's about 10000 years or more um it is originated from uh, serbia from the tungus tribe and to be a, actually a shaman you have to be born into the lineage of the shaman or if you haven't been born into the lineage of of a shaman then you have to do something really you know really strong or to earn the right to be a shaman was at that time like talk 10000 years ago would be to fight a bear <laughs> so we aren't going to do that so we are all the new new age shamans where we now and this was not available to everyone shamanism was was a very coveted uh, actually technique and uh, a, a shaman sees in the dark and, and this is why we practice shamanism so when we practice shamanism we close our eyes and we train our third eye to see in the dark so in when i actually see information i don't really see see i actually experience okay i can actually feel all of that and a shaman is also able to go into different dimensions so when they are in that trance state they can go into different dimensions so you tell them that i have this issue and then they can go into any dimension uh, to actually get medicine to get information now medicine can be in the form of actually you know uh, the actual medicine and they can uh, give it to you um the shaman also is in harmony with the elements so in harmony with the uh, with nature with the trees with the with the earth with the uh, the sky with the with the um air uh, and so by going and traveling up from every this they can get the information so they actually had a lot of information about uh the the state of the place how it is what's going to happen so a shaman it can go into different realms different dimensions to get the information required now physical realm is as we know it we are here we are on the physical realm and how do we connect to the spiritual realms they are divided the spiritual realms are divided into upper world lower world and middle world and how you rightly put it in the beginning it's to gather information so generally shamanism is the ability to actually enhance your spiritual journey to come to know you to get more information about you your life your world and to give you that ability and the harmony to actually go through anything and this is why we love shamanism you know when we are doing our talks on mystic lotus we'll go and do a shamanic journey what do we need to talk about you know what are the topics and then even we come up with a topic then we're like what do we need how do we go to about it you know i remember the first very first time we did a shamanic journey uh we were the first time we actually took part on mystic lotus and we did a shamanic journey uh, to find out how to do this because we were so you know we are brand new never ever talked on this never given a talk how to do you know so we did that and i could see that when i did the shamanic journey we were sitting on a couch and we were doing our talk and uh, and when, that's all that's what she saw that's all i saw yeah and then charu is like no no we can't sit on a couch it looks so unprofessional and then when we did testing we we actually decided a place and we did uh, you know to decided a place where we were going to sit and we did testing and we won't believe that the wifi wouldn't work it was resounding it was we sat on a table it wouldn't work in the end we actually had to sit on the couch and that's the beauty about it it gives you so much information on how to actually be present in your life so when we how do we access these worlds uh we basically the shamans would drum they would go to sweat lodges they would do a lot of rituals drum 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 and then they would go into a trance and when they were into a trance they could actually access whatever information they this but you know things are easy for us so airpods <laughs> drumming music go in your ears and it gets you into a state of actually trance which is really very nice and that gives you the ability to 
travel. So we have the upper world and we have the lower world and we have the middle world. When you go into the upper world, you actually meet your spiritual masters, spiritual teachers, your guides, loved ones who have crossed over. Uh, and when you learn the course, we will, I will teach you how to connect with your own personal spiritual teacher. We all both have our own spiritual teacher and we get different information. And the spiritual teacher can give you advice as well as healing, you know, and whatever you want. And then in the lower world, you get to meet your power animal, uh, ancestors. And again, in the course, we will teach you how to connect with your very own uh, power animal and of course there is on today's call as well a wee bit of you know uh, let's say preview of your power animal uh, my power animal is a panther and a dragon and what's yours spotted deer a spotted deer and so we use that our power animal. spotted deer <laughs> yeah yeah it has to be very particular right. um, yeah and middle world is basically a replication of our present reality. Generally, the present world is a little bit more, um, uh, we have to be more careful in, in going into the middle world because it's a replication of us. So you can experience things that you don't may not want to experience. So you generally take your teacher and your power animal and there's all a process actually to uh, go through this and it's called the axis mundi where it's the connection between uh, it's the one point in the middle of the earth which connects the uh, other dimensions the, yeah upper world and the lower world and um, when you do shamanism you can do journeys for receiving information like as you said we receive the uh, level two negativity protocol um, and then uh, the when we do the um, when I teach, we do a very special curated meditation because we're talking about dimensions and uh, we need to access these dimensions because each of the dimensions have information that we can use later on. So you basically go and experience the dimensions through a certain way of med meditation and then you are able to uh, achieve whatever you want. Uh, you can have you receive healing, you can receive guidance, you can ask about the future. If you are going to a city, you can go and visit the spirit of the city and say, you know what, I'm coming to visit, make it a very happy journey or productive. Any issues that you have, health, wealth, marriage, relationship, etc. So that's the shamanism in a nutshell. And Charu, you want to tell about the BNC Miracle Method? Yeah, I'll tell about the BNC Miracle Method now. No, so, sorry. Wait, wait, I'm so sorry. I'm going to come in, Charu, before you, you explain the BNC Miracle Method and tie okay. it in with this. A question has come in for Shamana. So just asking you this very quickly. So are there any spirits involved in this therapy is asking Sayong? No, there are no spirits. Basically, we aren't doing anything negative. If you talk about spirits, you do connect with your teacher. We are only talking about the purity of the world. Uh, we are not talking about uh, uh, this. But, you know, you can in shamanism, let's say, um, uh, you know, Cleopatra. She had a uh, beautiful skin. She would bathe in oil. She had uh, the perfume. You can actually go into history and find out what happened in history, right? So it's it's about what you would like to receive. Uh, we connect with our teachers. We connect uh, with, you know, um, you can connect with if you're like a, a devout, uh, you have, you know, you know, like I'm Christian, so I can go and go to the time of Jesus or I can go and connect with Jesus or I can connect with Mother Mary. I'm very connected with Mother Mary. And then what happens is it becomes a state of, you know, I, I can feel Mother Mary's presence or I can talk to her. So this is what happens because then she becomes like my teacher, my guide, and I can connect with her easily. But spirits in the sense are not the negative spirits. Yeah, we don't do that. 